Let's take a look at the major parts of a light microscope. These are the ocular lenses. These are the objective lenses. This is the stage. This is the stage controls, allowing you to move the stage forward and back and left and right. This is the light control. This is the on and off switch. So I'll turn on the light. You can see the light sources here. If I want to dim the light or increase the amount of uh, light we're seeing. I'm going to place the slide on the microscope. Pull back this small lever. Slide the microscope slide into position. Use the stage controls to position the specimen over the light source. And begin to look at it with the scanning lens. That's a short, small lens. Look through the eyepieces to see if what you can see. Use the coarse focus knob to bring the object into focus. And use the fine focus knob for fine adjustment. Once you've centered the object within the field of view, you can change the lens to the next higher magnification. Now you must repeat the process. Centering the object and using only the fine focus this time to get it into very clear view. Now you can change the magnification one more time if you need to. Again, fine focus only. These three objective lenses are called the scanning lens, the low power lens, and the high powered lens. When the high powered lens is in position, you have a total magnification of 400. 40 X being provided by this lens and 10 by the eyepiece or ocular lenses. The low power lens is a 10x lens. So the magnification when you're using this is provided 10 from here and 10 from here for a total of 100x. The scanning lens is the weakest lens. It's a 4x lens. When you're using this one, the total magnification is 40. There is one part of the microscope that you don't think about very often. Below the stage, you'll find the condenser. There's an adjustable ring that you can spin from left to right on the condenser. What this will allow you to do is open and close the diaphragm to make fine adjustments in the light.